It's not about doing the stuff that you've been told works in marketing. Let me read you something. I'll, show you, I'll share with you a little bit of uh, information that came across my desk. This is, I'm not going to tell you the name of the magazine. I don't want to embarrass anybody. But this is the kind of nonsense that people in your industry are being told works in marketing. William Shakespeare wrote, once wrote, brevity is the soul of wit. And the implication there is keep all your marketing brief. Folks, it's a load of crap. You tell the story and you keep telling the story. Brevity is good if you're telling a joke. It's got nothing to do with marketing. So I'm going to show you some examples of marketing that are unlike anything that you've, you've ever seen. Here's some more lousy advice. Before you begin work on your own ad, look at the ads in your local newspaper and your favourite national magazines. You'll notice that the copy is short, no more than three or four paragraphs in length. There's usually a photo, blah, 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 blah. Folks, brevity is not about marketing. If you had sent one of your staff to sit down in front of a customer and do a pitch to them, would you tell them to stop at 250 words? I don't think so. You'd be telling them to tell the story until the person buys or dies. <laughs> you know? I mean, here's some more lousy advice. Get second opinions. Be sure to show your friends and staff proofs of your new ad before it appears. Ugh! The last people you want to ask opinions from about your marketing are your staff and friends. Whose opinions are the only ones you should be listening to? Your customers, because they're the only ones that put money in your pocket. Okay, so this is the sort of toxic waste that people in your industry are being fed day after day after day. Your friends and family and staff can serve as a great market focus group and may offer some suggestions that will improve your ad's look and effectiveness. Oh my God. I mean, the last people whose opinions you should seek are those of your staff and your friends and family because they don't put money in your pocket, okay?